E10, the last of the 10. Railroad, railroad cars. Here we go. Railroad cars. Look at them, they look nice. It says here, label these one, two, three, and then the one in the front that's pulling, it's gonna give us the force. So it's given us here the, the weights of the cars. Uh, this first one is, I'll go ahead and write, write down the given when I do the sketch. All right, so if I go ahead here and sketch the problem with the given, we have here mass one, mass two, and mass three, and then the lead car is actually pulling to the right. And it's said to label these T1, T2, T3, and this is M1, M2, M3. And what was given was that M1G is 1.0 times 10 to the fourth Newtons. M2G is 2.0 times 10 to the fourth Newtons. And M3G is 3.0 times 10 to the fourth Newtons. I wanna do one problem that had three masses for you here. And this force here is given as 6.0 times 10 to the third Newtons, all right? And we are going to neglect friction. We study friction in the next class. So we'll get friction in there in problems. And for those in the US, you can consider 10 to the fourth Newtons to being close to one US ton. Okay, it's time now for the force diagrams and there's going to be three one two three so here and one going up and one g going down and the force to the right is t1 then here is and two going up and two g going down and here the equal and opposite, we have T1 pulling back and T2 forward. And the third one, N3, M3G, we have T2 pulling back and T3 pulling forward. So you can refer to this diagram. This is the first mass, the second mass, and the third mass. So you have the M1G down, N1 up normal, and T1 going to the right. Here for mass two, T1 is going to be pulling back equal and opposite. You have N2 normal and M2G going down. Then here we have T2 pulling on mass three back equal and opposite. Newton's third law, action reaction. N3 going up, M3G going down, and T3 going to the right. So now we write down the equations. Say so underneath here, we got T1 equals M1A. We got T2 minus T1 is M2A. Our accelerations are all gonna be going together. To the right is the plus direction. And T3 minus T2 is M3A. Don't really need the normal equations just need, these are the sum of the forces in the y, in the x, these are the sum of the forces in the x direction. So once we have this set up, we can now solve, add all the equations. See, this is where the Newton's third law comes in really handy, because if you add all the equations, oh, so many of these t's are gonna cancel. When you add the equations, see, t1's gonna cancel, t2's gonna cancel, and you're just gonna get t3 by itself. And then on the right-hand side, you're to get M1, 
m2 and m3 times a. So now to solve for a is what we're going to do is we're going to put these in as mg's. So here is m1g plus m2g plus m3g. I don't care if the problem didn't ask for this. I, I like to do it in terms of g. So I'm multiplying, dividing by g, and then I'll go ahead and find what it is in terms of, in terms of a. So they gave me this is 6.0 times 10 to the third Newtons. This is one times 10 to the third. This is two times 10 to the third. And this one here is three times 10 to the fourth. These are all to the fourth power. So what I have done here is I plugged in the numbers that go with the weights, one, two, and three, 10 to the fourth, and then T3 is six times 10 to the third. But now this is cool, watch this. I can divide out, I can divide out here, these, uh, ten, these 10 to the fourths, you know, come right out. Or what we could do, I'll just, we'll just work it out. This is six times 10 to the third here, and this is one, plus two plus three, that's gonna be a six times 10 to the fourth. So that's gonna be really nice how that works out. So A over G, so A over G is gonna be equal to six times 10 to the third over six times 10 to the fourth. And that's simply one tenth, that's cool, I like that. So A over G, is one tenth. So that means A is one tenth of G, which is one tenth of 9.8, which is 0.98 meters per second squared. That's cool. And then if you want to get the tensions now, that's very easy. Here is tension uh, one, this M1A, but I'd rather do this trick. This is M1G times A over G, since A over G is 1 tenth, and since this is 10 to the fourth Newtons, I readily get one times 10 to the three Newtons. And then for the second one, I use this equation here. This is gonna be T1 plus M2A, that goes in there, and then using the same trick here, M2G, A over G, this little piece here is two times 10 to the fourth Newtons times one-tenth, which is two times 10 to the three Newtons, and when I add that to the one, I will get three times 10 to the three Newtons. So these would be the answers for the, the two tensions and the third tension they gave me, that's the one that's pulling from the far right. Nice problem. That concludes our set of 10 examples.